Hi, this is Jeffrey Cohen, U.S. Advanced Computing Infrastructures. Today we're going to talk about quantum use cases. So industrial business use cases that use either quantum computers or simulators. And some of them are pretty exciting. They help clients uh, improve their business processes. Others are more scientific in nature. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you for listening. About early quantum use cases. And this was written October 18th, 2019. So some quick notes. Uh, these are all experimental. Proof of concept. None of these are in production today. And all the data you're about to hear is publicly available. We have three use case categories. Quantum computing for optimization. Quantum computing for non-optimization. And just different quantum technologies that are not in computing. And you can contact us for more information and to help create your own use case. So in optimization, we've seen optimization of travel routes, vehicle dispatch, new online car ordering configurators, analysis to increase an automotive paint line, the capacity, uh, waste and recycling truck or scheduling, ordering items, ordering the order in which they appear on a website for sale, Digital Advertisement Recommender, Portfolio Optimization to Minimize Risk or Cost versus Expected Returns. By the way, that's one of my favorites. Scheduling Robots to Seal Joints and Seams in a manufacturing facility. You know, the robots have a choice on which seams to, to close first. Or Scheduling Complex Repair Shops. For non-optimization, Verification and Validation is a key one. This is when we take a very complex software or software and hardware system and we can find the places where there could be bugs in the code and we can correct those. There's also molecule and material discovery. So we can look for characteristics in molecules and materials that we want and then impute maybe structure or function to look for things like batteries, pharmaceuticals or commercial compounds. I've seen accurate calculations and predictions of molecular properties, whereas before it was all approximations. Uh, we've seen companies try to price equities, financial options or derivatives, including the use of quantum Monte Carlo. MRIs, so magnetic resonance scanners, we can improve them using quantum. We can either make them faster or more sensitive. We can quantify client risk in new ways. And finally, we can help with 5G, radio access network signal processing. We can either connect better to the basically cell phone towers or um, improve the connection back to the core network. Finally, quantum technologies. So we can secure land-based communication from space. We can send photons into space, bounce them off a satellite, and use it to ensure hack-proof communications. Um, it, it's a great use case. In fact, uh, you'll hear things like quantum key distribution that's used on Earth with fiber optic cables. This releases us from having to use fiber optic cables. Uh, enhanced radar detection. So we can make our radars more sensitive and we can make them harder to detect using quantum technologies. We can navigate without GPS. We can navigate in a fully passive mode. We can use the Earth's magnetic field. We can also detect other moving vehicles or objects because they disrupt the magnetic field. We can have ultra secure communications. Um, there's, there's even other ways to securely communicate, again, via the Earth's magnetic field. We can detect movement and activity over long distances. And you can imagine that within a, a mission or national security. We can also detect movement and activity within the human body in a much more accurate way. For example, brain activity. Uh, we've seen the systems pick lottery winners, right? Imagine if you had three billion tickets and you had to pick three million winners. A quantum random number generator ensures randomness and it makes it happen very quickly. 
I've seen and I know people building atomic clocks. They are our most accurate technology the human race has ever developed. And then lastly, but important for our Chicago Bears, better televisions and LED displays and also lighting solutions using quantum dots. So I want to thank you for listening. I'm going to have another presentation that goes a little bit more into detail with client names. And uh, again, thank you for listening. And if you'd like to learn more, contact us. It's Jeffrey Cohen, U.S. Advanced Computing Infrastructures, Inc. We can help you build your early use case. Thank you.